Uh, thank and, you. Uh, just yeah. to interrupt you, Bruce. Um, and if you have any questions, please uh, put it in chat box. I see a couple of questions there. Excellent, Joe. If you could, um, uh, you know, keep answering those questions if you have time. Uh, and all these talks are being recorded, so they would be on our YouTube channel as well as on our conference website, and uh, they should be available as soon as uh, this Tuesday. Perfect, Bruce. Go ahead, please. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shah and Dr. Padia, for um, uh, inviting me. Um, and um, um, so to, just to say, have enough time um, to uh, um, follow up on uh, the excellent talks of uh, Dr. Chow and, and uh, Dr. Grothy, so we have time to ask some questions. Um, I um, just have a few questions for the rapid fire um, Q&A session. So, okay. Sorry. so this is my dis disclosure uh, for clinical research support and, and consulting advisory board. Um, I think you guys saw that earlier. So uh, just to start out, um, the, uh, question number one, um, in Keno, a 177 trial, um, which was a pembrolizumab versus a chemotherapy in the first line or treatment IE, MSI high DMMR on metacycle rectal cancer, um, which of the following did not show a progression-free survival benefit from pembrolizumab in the subgroup analysis? You're sharing your screen with the answer, by the way. Oh, shoot, okay. My, my bad. You oh, need my to goodness. switch the. <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, you need to know. switch the display setting. <clears throat> yeah. Go to display settings up there. Okay. And yeah. then click uh, on it and switch. Yeah. No. Is that block present? Yeah. We should go. No. no shoot. Now you have shoot. it. Okay, I'm cheating now. Is that better? Okay. That's how I want to take my recertification exam. <laughs> with the with the ends, <laughs> um, you guys are still seeing the the next slide too. Uh, no, no, I think it's right on the question slide, which is perfect. So okay. Uh, yeah, Dr. Lin, I ended the poll, so you can move on to. I can move on. Okay. All right. So um. Oh, so 95% of people got the right answer. Um, still here, I'll, I'll move on to the next slide. Um, shoot, I think I'm, sorry, I'm struggling here. Okay. All right, so um, so Dr. Grothy actually um, 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 addressed this uh, 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 question um, um, a little bit earlier during her, um, his presentation on, on this trial. Um, so as you can see um, in, in this study, um, interestingly, the, the KRAS and the NRAS mutants uh, did not show any progression-free survival benefit um, with the pembrolizumab as first line. Um, <clears throat> and um, um, as, as uh, Dr. Gorthy mentioned, this was not consistent with finding from other studies and the uh, analysis did not, uh, uh, you know, probably did not adjust for um, um, some variables. Um, and so we need to, uh, in, this needs to be investigated further. But interestingly, I, I was able to find um, there, there were a study showing that uh, um, in colorectal cancer, the coexistence of MSS, MSI high and KRAS mutant groups um, tend to be associated with worse prognosis as opposed to um, the, the MSI high and KRAS wild type um, group. So, so one possibility could be that these patients just have uh, such a poor prognosis, maybe um, um, either first line pembrolizumab um, or chemotherapy uh, didn't make any uh, significant difference. But again, this is a thought promoking um, and um, probably too early to, to um, uh, in, influence our practice, uh, but certainly something uh, worth um, uh, looking into in future studies. Um, so moving on. Uh, question two, uh, in a patient with a PMMR, uh, BRAF V600E mutant uh, metacycle uh, colon cancer, when disease progression after full FOX, uh, assuming the performance status is still uh, uh, decent, which of the following is a reasonable second line options in these patients? So A, Fulfiri, uh, B, Fulfiri plus Bevacizumab, C, Pembrolizumab, D, Encorapinib plus Cetoximab, E, Encorapinib plus Abinimethanib plus Cetoximab, um, F, um, A, B, and D, or G, A, B, D, and F. So I think the poll questions um, is, uh, have popped up. So. Okay, everyone probably answered.
so wow, interesting. Um, the the answers of uh, you know, so actually um, um, there's a range of answers. So. Um, All right, the, the correct answer is um, um, F, uh, but I, I think so we can discuss. So um, Fulfiri, Fulfiri plus Bevacizumab and uh, Encorapinib uh, plus Cetoximab uh, should be the standard answer. And so this is uh, an update by um, uh, Dr. Kolpes, um, Scott Kolpes et al, um, at ASCO 2020, um, abstract 4001. So this was an update to the Beacon uh, CRC trial um, so as uh, most of you might have um, known or remember that the Beacon trial um, looked at um, um, a triplet uh, a therapy versus Doppler versus standard chemotherapy using a BRAP inhibitor in combination with a MEK inhibitor and an anti-EGFR. Um, so uh, the, the initial uh, result was published in, uh, um, last year, but, but this, is, this is an update to the result comparing um, uh, the doublet arm versus the triplet arm. Um, so as you can see um, in the combination, so, and again, this is for the uh, uh, BRAP, B160 mutant uh, metastatic colorectal cancer patients. Um, as you can see in, in this slide, um, the overall survival curves for the doublet arm, the Incorapinib plus um, Cetoximab versus the Incorapinib plus uh, Benimetinib plus uh, Cetoximab arm had um, really overlapped uh, with the overall survival of 9.3 months. So there's really, there's no um, uh, significant OS difference um, in, in the PFS is as um, you're seeing a, a similar picture uh, with the 4.5 months in the triplet arm and 4.3 months in the doublet arm. But in terms of toxicity or adverse events, um, you can see there's a lot of di a lot more diarrhea in the triplet arm, um, um, also a little more rash, and but in just overall the the grade three or higher toxicities were um, de definitely more significant in the triplet arm compared to the doublet arm. Um, so. Uh, because of this finding, um, the double arm is now considered a standard and it has been incorporated into NCCN guideline. It's also now FDA approved um, for treatment um, in these patients. Um, I, I, I think that during the discussion of this slide, there's still some thought that perhaps um, there might be subgroups of a patient that can benefit from the triplet arm, but I think that's um, still uh, worth, um, uh, we, we still need more data uh, on that. So. Um, no. Next, next question, question three. In a patient um, with a PMMR, uh, PDL1 positive with CPS of five, a HER2 positive with IHC of three plus, metastatic gastric endocarcinoma disease progression on Folfox by plus trastuzumab um, under the standard first line treatment. Um, again, assume, assuming performance status still decent, uh, which of the following is a reasonable second line option. Number one, remissiramab plus a palitaxel. Number two, uh, Fulfiri or uh, C, pembrolizumab, B, uh, trastuzumab, uh, direct TCAN, um, or E, A, A and B. So, so again, the, here's the poll question. So, give a few seconds. Um, so I think most people probably have the answer by now. Oh, so 50% um, of you got, got it uh, correct. Um, okay, so um, A and B, uh, remissurumab uh, with the polytaxel or for theory R um, should be considered the, the standard or correct answer. Um, so um, as you guys have all heard from Dr. Chow's uh, presentation um, in the Des Destiny Gastric 01 uh, trial, um, again, this was a trial um, in the third line setting. So here's the key. Um, all the patients um, were eligible if, had, if they have at least two prior regimens, um, including a, a fluoropyrimidine and platinum agent uh, um, uh, upfront. So, um, so in that study, again, it showed that the TBXD uh, had a significantly higher overall response rate and um, a longer over survival compared to standard um, chemotherapy. Um, but again, this is in, in the uh, third, really it should be uh, considered in the third line or higher uh, arm um, and not in the second line as uh, uh, asked in this question. Um, a sec second line single arm study, Destiny Gastric O2 is currently ongoing. So we'll, we'll have to wait for the result um, to want to use in the second line setting. Um, and then a pembrolizumab, um, I think some of you did pick pembrolizumab. Um, 
is currently indicated in second line um, setting here in the US for um, uh, MSI high or DMMR gastric cancer only um, and not um, uh, uh, not uh, for um, PDO one positive uh, uh, patients. Um, and it's only approved in the third line setting for those patients uh, with a positive PDO one expression. Uh, again, we will have to await more data um, um, if we want to use in the second line setting. So, moving on to the next question. So in question number four, so in, in the Destiny Gastric 01 trial that we heard, uh, which of the following were adverse events reported with trastuzumab, uh, deroxycan, um, A, neutropenia, B, nausea, vomiting, C, anemia, number, uh, D, interstitial lung disease um, or pneumonitis, uh, E, cardiotoxicity. Um, F, uh, all of above, or G, um, A, B, C, and D. All right, so moving on to the answer. So, so I see a majority of you got it, get it correct. It's um, the correct answer is uh, A, B, C, and D. Um, um, but some of you did pick um, all of above. Um, so let's look at the explanation. Okay. So as um, so as you can see here in the adverse event table, um, nausea, uh, neutropenia, anemia. Um, and um, uh, decreased appetite. Uh, these are all kind of common side effect of, of this drug. Um, and as um, uh, reported, um, both in Dr. Grothy's uh, colorectal uh, talk and, um, and Dr. Chow's gastric talk, um, uh, um, interstitial lung disease um, or pneumonitis seems to be a, a, um, an adverse event observed in it, with this drug, possibly due to uh, um, HER2 overexpression in, in lung tissues. Um, and more interesting is that. Um, uh, based on this, at least based on this trial, this study, um, uh, cardio toxic, uh, sorry, cardio toxic events um, were not observed. Um, so um, there is no mention of um, this drug causing um, uh, cardio toxicity, and that was very interesting. As uh, most of you probably are aware, um, and um, especially most of you breast oncologists, um, that like uh, we have to monitor for uh, cardiac side effect with trastuzumab in general. Um, so it will be uh, um, interesting to see whether um, um, future studies with, with this uh, um, antibody drug conjugate um, uh, that will see cardiac events, but at least based on this study, that was not uh, observed. Okay. So uh, moving on, uh, final question. So um, which of the following uh, first line uh, chemotherapy plus anti-PD-1 therapy trials uh, for advanced gastroesophageal cancer did not show an overall survival benefit? Um, was it A, uh, Checkmate 649, uh, which was a nivolumab um, plus uh, chemotherapy versus a chemotherapy only trial? Uh, B, Attraction 4, a nivolumab plus chemotherapy versus a standard chemotherapy only, and that was a predominant Asian trial? Uh, or C, Keno, 5 point, sorry, Keno 590, uh, pembrolizumab, um, along with a 5U and cisplatin versus 5U plus cisplatin alone? Yeah. So poll questions. Okay. Okay. All right, moving on. So the answer is a, a attraction for a trial on the, the Asian study. So, um, and this was uh, highlighted by, um, so, um, so again, most of you, what, 45% uh, of you Got it correct. So, um, so this was actually highlighted by Dr. Chow earlier um, that their um, the attraction for um, study um, um, was an all comer for uh, uh, PDL one expression and um, uh, study, and it showed a, a PFS benefit, but interestingly, did not show a, a overall survival benefit. Um, and the potential explanation of this was that uh, it was predominant uh, all Asian study. Um, and uh, um, quite a few patients on the study um, actually got crossover or, and um, uh, later did be receive uh, immunotherapy. Um, as you might know, uh, nivolumab is FDA approved in Japan um, uh, after first line chemotherapy, um, and that's not the case here in the US yet. Um, so most patients on this study um, did go on to receive immunotherapy um, in the second line setting, and that might have confounded the overall um, the survival results. 
um, and as Dr. Chow uh, mentioned, additional analysis on CPS scoring, you know, you know for example, CPS grade five or 10, uh, whether that's gonna make any difference. Um, and that, um, that um, uh, um, we'll, we'll have to follow on those results. Okay, so that's all the questions I have. Um, and 